getting pissed off right now because devil was trying me today. I'm about to give me some food and I'm about to take my ass home. Today's video is going to be, I think, a day in the life. I know I have to go grocery shopping, have to take prints in about 20 minutes to go get groomed. And I took out my sew in. Well, Bay helped me take out my sew in the other day. So it's my first time rocking a black silk back ponytail, period in probably like 10 years. <laughs> my hair's always been blonde. I probably should have swooped it a little bit more down to cover my face because I don't like that right there. Like I wanted to kind of go. Anyways, if you're new here, hey, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So if you can't already tell, these nails are looking a mess. I wanna go get my nails done too. Um, don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of this today. I know for sure I have to go grocery shopping because tomorrow is my last off day for the week and honey i kind of just want to chill tomorrow and maybe like meal prep and stuff for my work days ahead so yeah i know tomorrow i want to get all my ripping and running done today so i don't have to do anything tomorrow so we are going to go to walmart probably costco and i kind of want i need to get like some fabrilli fur breeze plug-in refills um plastic plates plastic cups all of that type of stuff and i can get it from walmart but i do have i used to work at big lots in like 2020 for new newbies here but um so basically i still am considered like an employee there <laughs> so i get the employee discount because i don't know i'm still in the system some kind of way i don't know she said i'm going to be in there for life i don't know so I'm thinking I can get 20% off at Big Lots. They don't they don't have a Big Lots in Little Rock anymore. The closest one to me is North Little Rock, which is like 20 some minutes away. But I do have to drop off an invitation to my mom and my dad for a wedding that we're going to. So it's like, I can go do that and go to Big Lots. But it's like, dude, even though it's only 20 minutes away, but it's like, do I really wanna drive 20 minutes away? You know, so I don't know, we gonna see. But for sure, Costco, Wally where I gotta take Prince to Pet Smart. His appointment is at two o'clock. It's 134 right now. Um, I do have to actually like completely clean clean everything. Like clean my kitchen, clean out my fridge, all of that. I did want to do that before I went to take prints, but I had to tackle my hair because that was a mess. So let me see how far I am away. I moved a little closer, so it shouldn't be too far where I'm going. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it's less than 10 minutes away and it's 1.35. If I leave right now, it's say I get there at 1.42. So, I was going to try to throw these dishes in the dishwasher real quick to have those washing. So, by the time I get done grocery shopping, prints should be done at the groomers. It takes about, I think they take about two hours with him. Um, so, if, he, if I drop him off at 2, 3, he should be ready by like 4.30 at the latest. Um... I do want to get cash though because I like to give a tip in cash. So I think I want to go take out like $70. I think it'll be like $60 for his grooming and then like the rest would just be tip. Um, I didn't tip the guy the last time because I didn't have any cash. So I'm just going to give him $10 this time. Um, I usually go to the same person, at least try to, unless they quit or go somebody, unless they quit or go somewhere else and I have to pick somebody different. But yeah that's pretty much all i want to do i do want to get my nails done but like i said the place that i do want to get my nails done actually is kind of over there going towards big lots so it's like do i really want to go do all that today because i do really really need to edit three videos the videos aren't long they're not going to be longer than like probably 10 12 minutes um it's a review for some clip-ins it's a review for these glasses that they sent me they sent me six pairs um and then it's a review for she in so it's you know the video is not going to be long it's just i recorded a lot of footage for it so i gotta chop it up and do voiceovers and stuff like that but yeah so it's like i really want to get done editing all three of those videos today but it's like the longer i stay out the longer it'll take for me to get back home and you know really just edit and finish cleaning up and stuff so 
I don't want to put a I do need to edit at least two of those videos today and then I'll save one for tomorrow because like I said tomorrow I just kind of want to chill but I would much rather get my apartment and stuff in order so that I can just sit around and like edit and watch tv tomorrow but I don't know we'll see I also have not ate um Aunt Flo is in town so usually when Aunt Flo is in town I don't really eat too much um so I don't know if I'm I feel myself hungry but I don't have an appetite to eat since Aunt Flo is in town but I obviously gotta eat especially about to do all this ripping and running so I'll probably go pick up something to eat but yeah I've been talking for five minutes this is the intro um I'll get back with y'all when probably going to pet smart i got some packages coming i'm going to try to do my own nails not like these nails maybe but my own like pedicure this girl who I always talk about it on tiktok her video another video of hers went viral and basically she just have i bought a uv lamp i bought the base the top coat and then this is like some other stuff for the gym and then i got the little poly gel so I'm going to try to do that. I usually do my own pedicures, y'all know. So I f I'm feeling really excited about trying the poly gel for like, you know, my toes. Because baby, going to get a pedicure and my nails done at the nail shop coming out spending like $130, $40. No, I cannot. <laughs> so, and especially because like they charging $20 for gel. Like, obviously I know stuff high, but baby girl. <laughs> All right, so... One of my packages got delivered already. Um, there's another package that's supposed to be here. So probably when I come back from doing everything that I'm doing, I'll pick up my packages. One, two of them are here. The little shirts that I showed y'all will be here by 10. And then I got the pants coming tomorrow. And then my poly gel is coming Friday, which I'm sad about because I go back to work Friday. But hopefully it comes before I go to work Friday. So yeah, I'm going to get off here talking. And I'll see y'all when I take my son to go get groomed. I wanted to hop on real quick and say I absolutely love this store like I've been to it one time before in Memphis but I kind of forgot all the good finds that they had but girl I absolutely love this store they have a little bit of everything for cheap like starting at dang near a penny and going all the way up so this is definitely about to be my new favorite store because seasonings food all kind of stuff I am like a kid in a candy store all right hey y'all it is 5 36 in the afternoon i just got back home from getting prints from the i feel like the lighting is not doing it for me just got back from getting prints from the groomers and i feel like my stuff is like zoomed in i'm about to reset my camera anyways i'm gonna do a quick top shelf haul those of you who are in any other state than arkansas i'm pretty sure y'all got this because there's a lot of these in Texas. I know there's one in Memphis by the, by the, come on, Wolf Chase Mall, I think. That's when I had been to. But anyways, I got three full bags of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do a haul. All right, so I have to go get my ring light because, oh man. Anyways, this is what I got from Pop Shelf. I don't know what I wanna call the Popsy. They had all of their um, patio, like outdoor stuff or whatever. 70% off so I got this cute little pillow it was regular $10 he said why not have a 70% off sale I said you're right why not <laughs> so I got two of these to put on my patio it's cute I think it'll be cute for fall because it's kind of like kind of like almost in the like brown gold orange type of family and that's kind of what I'm going for especially since fall is coming up pillows rung up for one penny 
to be exact. Ooh, matte for outside. This one is gonna be for fall. It's literally huge. This was only $8. It is, can't even fit into the screen. But I'm gonna put this one down first and then I got another mat to go on top of this, the one that you kind of really like supposed to clean your shoes on. So this one just says, pumpkin days are finally here. Super cute. And I don't really want to decorate for like Halloween per se, but I like, I love the pumpkins. It's just, I want to basically kind of decorate for fall. Um, Elevated sink mat, $5. Literally, I've been needing something like this and it was just, it was my calling to go up in there today to find all this stuff. So I have a little drying kind of like foam mat, but I need another drying something. And this, you just set it to your sink and this is how you dry it. So it kind of got a little rise right here and you'll put it in there and let it dry. Cause I'll be having a lot of dishes. The next thing that I've got is this plant powered fruit and vegetable wash great for soaking rinses away wax oil and unseen dirt so this is how i can clean my veggies instead of just using you know the vinegar and stuff like that so these are the ingredients if you want to look at the back pause it got this this was probably like four or five dollars couldn't go in there without getting a candle this candle was five dollars it was you don't have you don't have a scent name but it smells good i can't really describe it it's five dollars literally pop chef i think i already said it it's like a upscale dollar tree and five below but this glass container was only five dollars and i needed another big one so yeah love that now of dry sweeping cloths i open them in store to kind of see what they look like it's basically a dupe for the um swifter sweeper little cloths that you put on to like dust your floors and stuff like that so i got them i think those are like a dollar needed some panty liners got panty liners got this cool little silicone um whatever this is it's supposed to put your hot pans pots and pans on this but honestly i think i may use it for my flat irons and my um hot comb stuff like that then i got a cheese grater this was only a dollar there literally the this little cute centerpiece floor arrangement for five dollars um i'm going to be putting this right here for when i switch out my decor for fall time so this is really just going to go right here in the middle i think that'll be cute i'm gonna to have to find some more placemats and stuff but got that i got these cute little pumpkin i don't know Cute little pumpkins, a pack of pumpkins for $5 is literally, cause I don't want orange pumpkins, you know, that's not my vibe. So I got these, I'm gonna switch out my moss in the middle of my um, coffee table. And these, these are $2 little leather tags. Um, I don't know, I was thinking I could probably use them as um, napkin holders to get rid of like the brown for fall time and put this around it. I think that'd be cute. And I just got another, um, this was $2. I just got another strainer. I got a dustpan because I need a new dustpan. <laughs> and I got these cute, it's 90 sheets in this. This was so cute. I got it in brown. It had brown, black, orange, all kind of colors. Everything is like color coordinated too. It kind of reminds me of like at home because they have stuff color coordinated. So it says now, later, and eventually. It's literally just a notepad. And I was like, this is perfect for me because in my actual notes, I usually do stuff like this. So it says now, obviously you'll write down stuff that you need to get done right now and then later and then eventually. So and these last three items are at random. This was $3. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It is literally just a matte black um stainless steel whatever i'm going to use it as a soup spoon i like to cook chicken and dumplings i like to do a lot of different like sauces and broths and stuff like that and so having something like this that i can just dip in and easily taste it is this me justifying why i need this yes but it will come in handy it's got uh basically like a sharpie pen but in the big brand and then i got this dual art whatever it's like a fine marker tip and then it's like a kind of like a dry erase felted tip so yeah that's all i got okay i actually have a package to show y'all i ordered like four things on amazon two came today 
another one was supposed to come today, but it said it got delayed. So we're going to see. And then I got one coming tomorrow and I got one coming Friday. So I was supposed to be getting three packages today. Um, yeah, so I think I told you I'm about to start doing my toes. I think I told you that at the beginning of the vlog. So that's what this is. This is just a UV lamp to cure my polydales. And then I got a gel top coat. That's it. That's it. That's all. Nine thirty at night, and I've watched three episodes of The Rookie, two at Bay, one with myself, and yes, different glasses. Um, only productive thing that I did so far since we last talked, girl, was put a lot of dishes in the dishwasher. <laughs> so I'm about to set a timer. Y'all know I love my little timers, so I'm about to set a timer for. It's already nine thirty. I'm about to set a timer for thirty minutes for this kitchen i'm not really hungry because i had all that cheese dip um actually i'm going to set a timer for an hour for an hour i'm going to have my whole entire kitchen spotless i'm going to put up my new stuff from pop shop that's over here i'm going to make my couch up all pretty again and then get these new clothes from shein right here out of here so i'm going to spend an hour cleaning up oh lighting is so much better here girl i didn't already gone into my little night shirt and everything so i'm gonna spend an hour cleaning the kitchen living room and dining room um my room i never really just have to do too much it's usually just making the bed making it look pretty back on the floor or something like that now my shower i do have to deep clean that because I just took out my sewing, washed my hair, all of that jazz. So it's probably like some hair and stuff still in there, what I couldn't get up. But for tonight, I'm gonna set a timer for an hour, for an hour. And then I'll probably do a 30 minute, well, maybe like a 25 minute timer, 25, 30 minute timer for my guest bathroom and guest room so that I can be able to be productive tomorrow. I'm gonna, I've been waking up at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock the past couple days. So I'm gonna um, try to keep that up, wake up early, eat some breakfast, cook some breakfast, take prints out in the morning, and then get to editing. Like I said, the video shouldn't take long. So hopefully if I do wake up and get right to it, I should be done with the videos by like one o'clock. And I would like to go to the gym tomorrow because I was supposed to go either today or yesterday and i did not <sighs> excuse me and i will also like to go back to walmart looking at my little board over there what i need to get my little dry erase board i forgot foil don't have any foil so i'm gonna need to get some foil and i may or may not go to big lots like to the next city over to go do that and i would like to finally organize my bathroom so we're probably we're definitely going to be organizing bathroom tomorrow i'm not doing none of that tonight but so it can kind of feel as good as my guest bathroom because my guest bathroom is like completely done and it feels like it feels like home up in there so i would like to get that situated and i have a ton of new shein clothes and stuff like collaboration clothes to hang up and put away in the closet so we're going to be working on organizing some more of my closet and just totally organizing my bathroom like the cabinets and the drawers and stuff so yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm tired i kind of want to take him out again because i think he i think he finished his food um it is 9 30 and i'm like already in my night clothes I don't have my night shorts on though so i may take him out real quick just right downstairs so he can pee or whatever and maybe poop and then i'm gonna come back and clean
So I don't know what's going on with my camera, but y'all are like way too close. My hand is like so far back and y'all are still so close. This is me with it like just regular talking distance to someone and look how close this is. Um, so I'm about to try to restart my camera um, or like reset it basically because I don't really do too many different tweaks or you know twists and turns. I usually just use the automatic you know intelligent settings on this one so i'm about to restart this because this is like way too close it was it's another youtube i think her name is soraya i think she was having this problem with her camera it was like way too close and i want to say maybe destiny too all of destiny um so yeah this is this is really doing the most right now i just had to google on youtube some girl had posted a video like nine months ago helped me out tremendously so this is me holding it at the very same distance length like talking distance and look how far back that is so love it i went to um under steady shot it was on active you got to set it to standard so then it can be like zoomed out so yeah and this is me like pushing my arm all the way back look how much y'all can see and this is me with it completely on my face like okay uh, i am about to go get air in my tire because for whatever reason i've been getting this i gotta drive so y'all can see it but this has been really annoying my sister said hers been doing this and her man's been doing this they had went and got their like tire fix for like 25 dollars at the honda place or whatever so i'm about to go to kia right now and like see what they say because i'm really tired of this plus kia your dealership they'll put air in your tire for um free Yeah, right now. It's good. It says 36. Okay, if it goes low, uh, if it gets low again, that means there's probably something in that tire. Okay. Alright. And is 30 a good number? About 35 is where you want it. Okay, because this back one says 30 on my side. Is that okay? Uh, I can adjust that. Okay. Do you just get maintenance here? Huh? Did you just come for a minute? Um, I did a few months ago. Okay. All right. I'll, get, I'll adjust that one too. Okay. <laughs> to fall but I'm, whoo, see my car my camera mount fell down but i'm about to go to my parents house and drop off this wedding invitation and then me and my mom is going to go to big lots so yeah hey i heard him i think he said if it start doing that again then i'll need to come back because then that means something is wrong okay, baby i don't need no more problems with no tires i had about two I think about two new, no, I think about one new tire with my tire when I had popped my tire <laughs> by accident going to the casino. Um, so I have one like brand new tire. Then the other three, I think these are still the three that I've had since I got the car in 2021. So yeah, it's probably time for new tires here soon. But I know for sure, at least I got one brand new tire. And then if all fails, then I would just need to at least buy, you know, one every, like I'll buy one at a time rather than all like the rest of the three so and i'm starving only thing i had was some cranberry juice and like some cheese <laughs> for a little protein sonic is right here but i don't really want mozzarella sticks or a burger <laughs> so i don't know me and mom well, are at big lots now i came in here to get like plastic plates plastic cups plastic forks all of that kind of stuff and the lighting is not on my side today. Got this. So this is a $23.99. They had one for $19, but this one looks much cuter. And I'm just realizing why is that up there and not down? It says hello fall. Got some cleaning stuff. I came here for my smell goods for my house. And then I got some lights to put out when it becomes October. I think I have orange lights. I don't know. We're going to see. Needed some more plastic forks, plastic plates, and also some more plastic cups. 
and this. Just got back home. Pretty sure I showed y'all what I had got from Big Lots. Um, so I'm about to open up my packages. It's four o'clock right now. How do I open this one? Let's say it's here. Okay. Let's figure this out. All right. Yay. This is my Holly Gel. These are my little leggings or yoga pants that I got. I got it in a size medium in black. I'll link it down below. Ooh, these feel nice. Okay, yeah, I got a medium. You can definitely tell. Got some stretch to them. I hope they long enough. I should have. Okay, these are the pants. Cute. I love this. I got a size medium and I'm glad I did because the small would have been baby too small. Um, I got the 30 inch inseam, I think. They go all the way down to the bottom of my feet. But if I was to put on some um, shoes, rather than like sandals or something, that'd give me about another inch. So I'll slightly be a little bit flooding, but I don't want them dragging. So I think I wanna get these pants in the brown color as well as, it was either gray or some other color, but I definitely am gonna get more colors in these. I just needed some cute, more little like everyday yoga pants or leggings. All of my leggings, are ripping right here because of my thighs are like touching me now. Um, I've never had this problem obviously, but my thighs touch now because you know, you grow in thick, but <laughs> all of my leggings are literally ripping like right there in the thigh area. My scrubs, y'all saw that on the vlog, they ripped in that same spot. So I guess this is just my new reality, but <laughs> I never really just had like, these are more so like yoga pants to me rather than like leggings, obviously. So this is like my first official like pair of yoga pants, I guess. Um, so yeah, I like them. They feel really nice. I'm glad I got a medium. Looks really nice on. Kind of looking in the mirror over here. I like it. It definitely, it got some stretch to it, but yeah, small would have definitely been too small. So I feel like get your regular size in this. If you are more curvy and got a lot of butts, then maybe size up. I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff up. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna edit one of my videos so I can be done with that. After I'm done editing, I'll probably start working on my toes. I wanna try to do um, like my own quote unquote acrylic toes with the um, poly gel. I'm excited about it. Good morning, y'all. Today is September 1st. It's 1.05 in the <clears throat> um, afternoon, evening, whatever. Um, it's been a few days since y'all last saw me like in the vlog. I believe I was like doing some shopping and some hauls and stuff like that. So it's been some days past. Um, I've worked and I've just been doing a lot of stuff. So we're here now, September 1st. Hopefully this month brings a lot of blessings to us all, okay? But I'm just taking my hair down. I, oh, I did get my hair done since y'all last saw me. I got my hair done um, a few days ago now. So y'all know I like to use this little thingy. It will be linked in my Amazon storefront, probably under like personal items or hair or something or something, y'all Y'all should know. Um, but yeah, hair, obviously my brand, AJ Beauty Collection. This is some hair that I used um last year 2022 for my brand photo shoot if y'all didn't see that video go check it out but um yeah i have a lot of stuff to do today and i don't really know what order i want to do it in um i'm just wearing my cna shirt that i got from the class i had went to and then some workout shorts that's blue also trying to stay on brand hair color scheme from forever 21 um but yeah so what i got to do today is ship off I gotta ship back some hair to Vietnam from this new vendor that I was testing out. This is the hair. I washed two of these bundles and then the other bundle, this is the bundle that I didn't wash. These are the two that I washed. They look really nice and stuff. I mean, I couldn't really tell you the quality of how they held up while putting it in your head because I didn't install it because it came with a horrendous stanking like flat iron smell, like using a thousand flat irons on this. Um, but yeah. 
that didn't work out how I thought. My vendor, I was never going to not use my vendor. I was just looking for another vendor that like drop ships and stuff so I can have every single thing in stock for y'all. But the reason why I didn't go with them is because this is how the hair comes. It looks really thin compared to my other bundle. I'll get one of mine. So this is my hair that I have in right now and that I sell. This compared to this, obviously, yes, this is straight, but I don't know. It just it's just not given to me like this in person is really really small compared to this so i mean i know my quality this one of my brand is good but this one i haven't you know put it in or installed or anything but since i'm drop shipping if y'all don't know what drop shipping is well i was going to try to drop shipping is when all the hair isn't in your possession and then like basically the people this company will be shipping this directly to y'all with like my brand and stuff like that on it but if y'all was to get this smelling like burnt flat irons really really bad and literally when you comb it it starts to static i've never gotten hair that just statics like this and she was like put oil on it and da, 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 da. i'll probably pop in a picture too so y'all can kind of better see but i'm like there's no reason that hair should be doing it straight out the pack and she was like put some oil on it and it'll go away why do you gotta do all that like my other vendor don't do all this so I'm like, first impressions are everything. And I know that it's like, as a business owner, I also have to think as a consumer, obviously. And I'm like, if I was to get this, you know, like straight out, I'll probably be a little like, what's going on? Like, first off the smell, then it's like staticking. So yeah, I gotta go to UPS to send this back and get my 300 and something dollars back. So this is definitely have to get done today because it's Friday. Um, I also have to go pick up some mail for my business um i have a uh business mailbox and stuff like that so i gotta go pick up the mail that i got in there if they open today i hope they open i'm gonna call and then i have to go pick up some packages from my apartment complex at our little amazon hub thingy um and then i have to call in my prescription for my um night medicine like my sleeping pills and stuff like that to help me go to sleep and then I would like to go to the gym. So I wanted to go to the gym first, but I'm like, I don't really want to leave the gym and then have to come back home, shower, and then, you know, go back out. So I'm thinking if I can just get these few errands done really quickly, I can be at the gym hopefully by 3 o'clock because it's only 109 and everything is kind of like right here. And before I even leave, I think I'm just going to go pick up my Amazon packages so I don't even got to stop and do that on my way back. Um, cause it's like, I don't want to go to the gym and then be smelling like the gym, you know, at the other places. So yeah, I'm just about to go run my errands and then the gym will be the last thing I do today. off right now because this stupid vendor i have to pay for the shipping the shipping back she talked about 60 dollars. i paid 267 for the stuff and pay for shipping the first time so i have to pay for shipping again and then ups is going to be a hundred and something dollars to ship back so then i call dhl they need the weight and stuff of it or whatever so i don't know i'm just going to go back home and weigh it and stuff because i don't even feel like going back into ups to ask him about the crap anyways so I'm about to get gas. Give me something to eat because I haven't ate and when I don't eat, I get really um, angry. So, I'm about to go get gas at Costco right here. I'll probably give me a smoothie from Tropical Smoothie. My workout today is stuff that I could do at home. It's only thing I would need is a treadmill. So, I may go to the treadmill in my apartment or I may not. But my vendor talk about some, we'll send the goods. You send the goods back and when I receive the goods, I will pay you $267 please send it soon because we need it urgently what do you need it urgently for like that don't make any sense it should be a window of returns i don't know just real stupid so i'm definitely not about to work with them because they piss me off anyway and i'm not about to spend a hundred and something dollars to send something back to y'all when i only paid 267 so i'm about to see it by dhl if not then i'm just about to sell this hair for 267 like the vendor price and all 267 if i was to sell this myself then this hair would be probably like four 
hundred five hundred dollars with all the tax and shipping and stuff like that so i'm just gonna post it and see if anybody want it and i'm about to be done with that and i'm about to block them because they're about to piss me off business and look forward to the opportunity to serve you in our stores for pharmacy press one for vision center press three for online pick speak to walmart pharmacy Okay, to help you with that, I just need to know a bit more. Go ahead. Instructions for someone else. Speak. Or, just tell me in your own words. Speak to representative. Sorry. All right, let me get you to someone. Ooh. That drives me insane. File, and they said I couldn't, my insurance wasn't going to pay until the 26th. That's why I'm just not calling again. Now it's saying that the insurance I have on here is not active. <laughs> okay. Let me. Yeah, I don't. Did you switch insurances or is it in the coverage end or anything? No, it just got reactivated, so that's why I had to wait until the 26th to get the prescription. Yeah, I, don't, I would talk with the insurance. I don't know if they were supposed to give you like a new idea because the one, one that we have on file is saying coverage terminated. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> the devil is trying me today. Every single thing that I've been trying to do today is always some BS. So you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to give me some food and I'm about to take my ass home. That's exactly what I'm about to do. And we're just gonna try again tomorrow because I'm not about to, I'm not about to do this. I'm really not. Yeah, it's much, much later in the night. Why do I look dark? In the day, I just got back from Target. It's 8.32, I got my food on. I got 53 minutes left, just some chicken potatoes and stuff. I haven't cooked it in like two weeks. Y'all probably won't believe me, but it's been like two, maybe three weeks since I had it. Maybe about like two weeks. Um, I've been cooking other things and trying stuff in the cookbook. Um, so yeah, anyways, got two packages that I'm about to open from Amazon. Good old Amazon, can't stay away, okay? So y'all know how I've been talking about, uh, have I been talking about the gym? like? how I used to drive like 20 minutes to the gym, 20 minutes back, and that's not like even including traffic. Then I would go to the gym and stay at the gym for an hour in, for an hour. So basically just trying to get back on my stuff, like it's September 1st. Um, I do have a trainer, I've been, I got a trainer in August. So I've been doing good. I meet with her every Monday, but I am trying to go at least three times a week. Sometimes I go twice, but here lately it's been like once a week. So. I'm trying to get back on my stuff. Um, I am, I weighed in at like 144, 145 today. I am trying to get back to 153 and then pass that to maybe like 160. If I feel like editing, I'll put in a picture of how I looked at um, 153 pounds. I was 153 like around my photo shoot time. So anyways, I got some stuff to Kind of just helped me along my journey my um fitness journey that i'm still on i'm trying to stay committed and i'm trying to turn this into really like a lifestyle like i'll be really committed for some time and then i kind of stop once i hit my goal and stuff like that so i got three things in this box first two things that i want to talk about are these um they're the same brand so i got creatine finally i thought this was going to be much bigger it looks much bigger on the pictures but creatine if y'all work out whatever then you already know what this is so basically it's um what did say oh it expires in 2026 um someone has said to keep these in nowhere where it's like too hot because they said it started to kind of smell fishy after about a month and a half so i'm gonna try to keep it out in the open and i keep my house pretty cool um so yeah say to use this everybody uses it differently 
I'll read all of this later or whatever, but basically, storing cool. I got some creatine, cause you know, weightlifting and stuff like that. And then I got L-glutamine. When I'm tired too, that's why I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what I got all this. I can't even tell y'all everything because I'm just so tired. I also got this hot cream massage gel and massage oil. It is for firming, toning, and hydrating. Um, one lady put her before and after of a month of using this and it looks really really good like her cellulite definitely got to a very very minimum i bought that to go with this that's in this big old box right here and it also comes with a little um massage mint that you can use but i probably won't use the mint as much because i bought it to use with this oh oh I forgot I had that too. This is a five-in-one kit. I been to a body contouring place before, but not with wood therapy. Basically like the suction cups and stuff. So I wanted to get wood therapy. If y'all watch my girl Kyla Shea on here, um, she was talking about how she used this and she did her before and after within like a week or two weeks. And within 14 days, like lost her love handles and all of that. So I'm super excited to be trying this out. And I know it works because a lot of people use it. Like I've seen a lot of before and afters. I don't know why I didn't think to try this out sooner. But yeah, it just comes with everything you need to, you know, do your little, you know, you know. And it def okay, now I see what she mean. Cause she said um hers kind of hurt a little bit and it used to bruise her a little bit. But she said she was she was doing it a little bit hard. But basically what you'll be doing with different tools, just going up like this with the oil and you know, getting rid of your love handles and stuff. So I'm super excited, excited to try. That's two items that I got. This is the last item that I got from Amazon. This is just the sweet sweat workout enhancer. I got it in the um scent vanilla. Um I've used this. I, when I bought my Sweet Sweat belt, probably like four or five years ago now, um, it actually came with like a little mini version of this. And I actually really liked it. I just never bought it again. Um, so yeah, this is just basically just to enhance your sweating, make you sweat a lot more, lose that water weight and that little lower belly portion. And that's really where I just hold the weight is in that lower belly portion. And then, of course, my love handle. So, it's mine didn't melt or anything. It looked just like a big old stick of deodorant. <laughs> Honestly. Mm, yeah, that smells good. I can't wait to use that. I'm going to use it tomorrow when I go to the gym. I got to show y'all is what I just went and did a pickup for at Target. Um, Kyla Stray also talked about these. It's the Ollie brand. I love the Ollie brand. I take the Ollie brand melatonin. I take the women's vitamins. Like, all of that. So... This is the probiotic and prebiotic for a balanced belly, and it's 30 gummies. I'm excited to try. I'm going to um, try this, all this stuff tomorrow. So I'll get back with y'all. It'll probably be about like 10 o'clock by the time I pick up the camera again, just being honest, because by that time I'm going to be in an eight and everything. Um, so yeah, my workout was good. I did a workout today at my um, clubhouse. We got like a full gym. Um, upstairs and downstairs so i worked out there i probably put in some clips it was good i also used the little foam roller definitely gotta go to five below tomorrow and get one i remember seeing them there so hopefully they still have them but that foam roller is a game changer like baby i couldn't even walk straight <laughs> because my leg was hurting so bad from my workout so my workout from a few days ago so yeah definitely need to invest in a foam roller because top tier and i need to start stretching every day anyway so that's probably why i've been hurting so bad but yeah Today is September 2nd. It's 7.27 in the 
<clears throat> evening today i woke up at like noon probably like 12 31 i didn't get out the house the uh, only thing i did today was basically just go to the gym um opened up my new products that i showed y'all last night i believe um and yeah that's really all came back to the gym for an hour in like 30 minutes because i get a 20 minutes but a 20 minute massage after so oh oh wow y'all woke up at noon i only been to the gym today um but i do want to organize my bathroom that was the whole point of this mostly of this vlog was to organize my bathroom and hang up all of my new sponsor clothes from Shein and everything um to get my bathroom really feeling like my guest bathroom right now my guest bathroom is a little messy because i've been doing stuff with you know hair and stuff and collaborations but my bathroom and my guest room is like complete like it feels really homey it feels complete it feels great so basically that's what i'm going to try to bring to my master bathroom um i am going to clean out my tub a different day not today probably tomorrow which is sunday um but yeah basically we're just about to get this room together um i have so much storage space in this new apartment so mostly all of my stuff is in my guest bathroom so really i don't really have much <laughs> i don't really have much to put in my master bathroom besides the stuff that i kind of use on an everyday basis slightly so we're gonna have a lot of cabinet space in here before i start organizing i did want to clean just a little bit um clean my toilet and then i decided to sweep and mop my bathroom floors so now looking back <laughs> i probably should have waited to actually sweep and mop because some stuff did fall but it's okay i just swept again it's fine um but yeah wanted to have a clean base to work with because i cannot reach that up there like even with my little step stool this one i can't even see up there i gotta get my big step stool so definitely the stuff that's gonna be up there is the stuff that like i do not like me right now <laughs> this one i can definitely see with the step stool like this is my eye level with the step stool this one's pretty good and then this one right here so i'm thinking i'm gonna put towels down here for sure i may just do like all of my big towels right here and then i'll probably do smaller ones up here right here and then since i don't have many like small ones like i got a lot but i don't i was thinking maybe i can just like put them in this drawer right here so they can just be like eye level and then i can just have these two big spaces for bulk stuff and then it's like I still i mean i have all of these too so i have three more down here to use i have these under here i didn't take anything out of here yet because this is like storage and i was kind of already on my organizing stuff right here this gotta go in my guest bathroom but basically i usually keep my mouthwash cups right here mouthwash this doesn't belong in here this is my floss and lip scrub that's supposed to be in there this is all the little containers that i have left after organizing all of my rooms so i have this one i can probably put in that skincare drawer i brought this this is for like makeup brushes and stuff but i thought i can maybe use it for something and then i have a lot of these small little square ones and then i have this big one from um the home edit collection so this is all i have to work with to kind of organize stuff but like i said i don't really have much because <sighs> i still have this one and i still have this thing right here and then i have these little organizers as well and then this i brought most of this stuff in from my guest bathroom because this is the stuff that i use for my toes to do like my at-home pedicures and nails and stuff and i needed a bigger drawer and my guest bathroom the drawers was like completely stuffed so i'm gonna put this stuff in one of these bigger drawers like definitely i'm gonna put that down here and then i still have all of these little drawers over here as well real ass bitch give a fuck about a nigga 
big Birkin bag, hoe, five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so he call his pussy tigger. Fucking on a scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Same group of bitches, ain't no ass to the picture. Drop a couple racks, watch his ass get thicker. Drinking on licking, I'm looking at your nigga. If it's money right, he can eat it like a sticker. I ain't got time for you fake ass hoes. Talking all loud in them fake ass clothes. Fake ass shoes, mess that fake ass hoe. I'm the realest bitch ever see snake ass hoes. Act up, you can get snatched up. Okay, so if y'all remember my last apartment, I did have these shelves up. I wasn't going to put them up in this apartment because it really wasn't the vibe I was going for. Like, it's black and white. And, I mean, which my room is black and white, but I got that kind of um, emerald green going on. So, I was thinking of, since I already have, y'all saw the video when I put this over here. Little cute pompous grass. So, instead of putting more pompous grass up because I had some in my room I kind of shopped around my apartment and I can't remember exactly how I had this set up but I found this little A so I'm gonna put this up here I know I had this up on there but since I have this little thingy right here I'm just gonna keep that over there in the corner so I was thinking of putting this A somewhere up here and then this says when life gets too hard to stand meal I was gonna put that up there. It's from TJ Maxx, $5.99. But I remembered that I had this snake plant. <laughs> if y'all remember, I've had this plant for probably three years now and it's like really starting to like grow and sprout out now. Um, I got this from Ikea like definitely three years ago. I think this I had this since my first apartment alone. So yeah, I don't know. But it's getting really big, really cute. It's green. So I'm like, what if I put this up here? and add in some actual like fresh plants i think that's cute y'all can't even see that i think that's cute what y'all think because i honestly have nowhere else to put that plant <laughs> like it was in my um guest room and it just was not doing anything for me so i think i'll keep that right there for now and then with my little a up there um i was gonna try to put this somewhere but honestly now I don't even think this would be cute right here. Like to me, now that's doing too much. It's too much stuff on that one little shelf. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it there for now. I may move it. Y'all comment down below. Should I keep it there or should I move it? Okay, now that my bathroom is basically done, everything's organized, I'll show y'all what I'm done with everything. But now it's time to tackle the closet closet isn't bad it's just all of that that's kind of tucked away and hidden that's all new clothes from she and sponsorship stuff like that i think i got some jersey she stuff in there as well so i'm just going to be taking all of this out putting it on my bed um that's laundry that i just did last night that i have to hang up so what i'm going to do is just let everything out put it in a specific category and then put it on a hanger out there um as far as hangers i have y'all yeah, know i always run out of hangers so i think this is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen right there. And then I got <clears throat> a pack of twenty-five right there. And I have another pack of twenty-five, I think, right here. This is another purse holder. And then right here, these are linked to my Amazon storefront as well. It is to hold like items. So I got a lot of, of the same crop tops. And yeah, so I just put them like this and it maximizes your space in the closet as well. And then like these, all of these are the exact same shirts, just different colors basically.
Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark room perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh, and I know you taste this a little bit. Mmm, high maintenance. Ooh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloom in the dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy. It's blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and him. I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you off. Fuck that. Hold up, play me off champagne. Cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga, don't approach her with that Atari. Nigga, that ain't good game, homie. Sorry. They say conversation. Rule a nation. I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs. Less I write it down for real. P.S. Girl, you test my patience with all these seductive photographs and all these one-off patients. You clearly a lot for me to take in. It don't make sense, young East African girl. Too busy fucking with your other man. I was trying to put you on game, but you on a plane thinking your mama to the motherland. I could do it, maybe one day when you figure out you're gonna need someone. When you figure out, I'm tired. Um, I successfully completed exactly what I said I wanted to complete today. Um, or for this vlog, I organized my master bathroom. It feels definitely a lot more homey now since I put that stuff up on the wall, organized everything. I feel like maybe just a few more touches. Um, I am looking to put some stuff up right above my closet there. Um, kind of how I got in my guest room, like those flower things. Anyways, I have a few more items to get for it to just feel complete. And I'm sleepy right now. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's 10 5 so I'm about to end this vlog out here like I said I will clean my shower and stuff probably tomorrow but everything else is clean um, my room I still have to like clean up and stuff I'm gonna I didn't want to do anything tomorrow but obviously I feel like I'm gonna have to finish editing this vlog because honey all I'm about to do is just upload this footage to my computer so therefore when I get ready to edit tomorrow, everything will already be like uploaded and stuff. So I'm about to cook me something to eat, put up all my dishes and stuff. And then I'm going to wake up early to go to church. Hopefully, if I don't wake up in time to like actually be there physically, I'm just going to put it on, on my um, iPad and just watch from at home like a live stream. Um, and then eat some breakfast or something, go to the gym and then come back and finish editing. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I do have a lot of videos ready for y'all. Um, I just got to post them. I just got paid from the brands. So I'm just going to be posting them periodically. But yeah, I do have a lot of videos for y'all. I just had to get paid first. So that's why I had missed two uploading days. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure it's long enough. Like I said, don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. We almost to 30K. And that's my next video. I will see you lovelies then. Bye, guys. Bye.